Today, I wanted to talk about the accumulator. Well, I want to make sure that you understand what an accumulator is and what it does because this is something that you're going to find in a heat pump. Heat pumps are usually installed with one of these. So, an accumulator, basically all it is, it is just a tank. This tank, like all tanks, is going to have an inlet and it's going to have an outlet like this. So now, refrigerant is going to be going out to the compressor and refrigerant is going to be coming in to the accumulator here. But what happens is inside of it they have repiped it so that if there is liquid, if you have liquid refrigerant coming back, it's going to sit at the bottom of the accumulator along with any oil that might be trapped up in here is going to be held right there. So what happens is refrigerant is going to come in here and it's just basically going to be shooting in here like this. Refrigerant is going to be coming in and it's going to be shooting in here, it's going to be swirling around. The refrigerant is going to be going out, but what they have done is they have piped this so that now it comes down through here like this and it draws the refrigerant from the top right here. So the refrigerant will be coming in and then it's going to come down this pipe like this and it's going to be going out to the compressor. So if there's any liquid refrigerant coming in here, what's going to happen is it's going to get trapped, it's going to drip down here and some of this is going to swirl around. Some of this refrigerant, it'll be swirling around so all the droplets fall out. All of the oil that might be in here falls out and only refrigerant is going to be going back to the compressor. Only refrigerant gas. Only refrigerant gas. Now, the problem with this is that if oil, which always travels with the refrigerant, you can't help that, that's just what happens. When oil comes through here, the little droplets are going to collect down here on the bottom. So what they do is they have placed a small port, a small opening right there. So if there is any oil or any refrigerant that's in here, liquid refrigerant, it's going to be sucked in through this little port and it's going to be going back out to the compressor. This little port, because of the velocity of the refrigerant traveling through here into the compressor, right at that port is going to create a pressure drop. Now because of what they call a Venturi effect, it's going to draw the liquid in there. Whether it's oil or whether it's liquid refrigerant, it's going to draw it in there and send it back to the compressor. Now we know we don't want liquid to get back to the compressor, but this orifice specially made so that when liquid goes in there, it atomizes it. It just turns it into a, a fine spray. When it turns it into this fine spray, then you just have a mist going back to the compressor. So you are returning all of the oil that might be traveling through the system and some of the liquid refrigerant, you are returning it back to the compressor, but all as a mist. So this, I always like to tell the students that this is like a safety device for the compressor. It's a safety device so that no liquid gets to the compressor and they're trapping the liquid in here. Again, this is your accumulator and it traps the liquid, liquid refrigerant, so you only have vapor going back to the compressor. It comes in, drips to the bottom, all of the vapor gets drawn in through the top, travels through here. If there's any liquid here, the venture, because the Venturi effect is going to draw it in there, it's going to atomize it, spray it in there so that when it goes back to the compressor is nothing but a mist. So I hope this helped. This is the accumulator, this is what it does, and basically this is how it works. Thank you from Eric Khan Academy. So make sure you like the video, check out my other videos on YouTube, and uh, check out Eric Khan Academy. Thank you.